Hello everyone and welcome to today's demonstration. Today we're looking at Neo4j Desktop version 2.0. Now Neo4j Desktop is for those of you who want to do your development work against a locally hosted database on your laptop or desktop computer. Now you might be in an air-gapped environment with no access to the internet, or maybe you just prefer to work against a local database. And if this describes you, Neo4j Desktop is for you. Now the first thing you might note if you're used to Neo4j Desktop version 2 is a refreshed user interface that looks very, very similar to our cloud interface for AuraDB, which is our fully hosted, fully managed in the cloud database service. So if you're used to using Aura, you'll feel right at home in Neo4j Desktop version 2.0. And you can see that some of the options, which were maybe a little bit hidden away in release 1, are now very easy to access. Things like installing plugins, things like in creating multiple databases against your instance, are now easily and right front and center accessible. Another thing that you will note that's different from release one is that Neo4j Desktop release two now supports the latest and greatest versions of the Neo4j database. So the 5.x series as well as the 2025.x series of databases are now available right from within Neo4j Desktop. And the tools that you're used to using for querying and exploring your database are available against your local instance as well. You can also use Neo4j Desktop to connect to remote instances. In this case here, I've got a connection to a remote instance on AuraDB, where you can use the same capabilities, query, explore, import locally against a remote database that you could use against Aura as well. And so that's Neo4j Desktop Release 2. Again, it's for those of you who want to develop against a locally hosted copy uh, on your laptop or desktop. And it offers many of the same features that you're used to using in our cloud service. Thanks for watching.